my internet friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Cynthia. I am so happy that you are here joining me to do an awesome review of the new Too Faced Teddy Bear It All eyeshadow palette. So this little guy stirred up some serious excitement on social media. A lot of people have been waiting for this to launch and I will get to that. But before we get started in the video, don't forget to subscribe down below. I like to post new and exciting weekly makeup videos. And just like that, let's get to it. All right, so to start off, we have this guy right here. Too Faced Teddy Bear It All eyeshadow palette. My first impression when I opened up my box, my shipping box, to reveal this beautiful eyeshadow palette, at first I was like, is this the right size? Did I buy the correct product? Because I, it was, my first impression was that it was so small. <laughs> that it was a small, it was like way smaller than what I was anticipating. As you can see here, it like, fits in the palm of my hand perfectly and from the pictures I was envisioning like a huge Too Faced eyeshadow palette something like the size of like that you know like I was expecting like a big palette this guy is $45 so when I opened it and saw this tiny little thing I was like oh okay so that took me by surprise I do have to admit but when you open this palette up it is stunning it's like one of those eyeshadow palettes that you would take with you on a trip if you went on like a road trip or flew out of town or whatever and you could only take one eyeshadow palette because you wanted to not pack all of your makeup then this would be an awesome go-to eyeshadow palette for traveling because and i feel like this is also the reason why so many people were excited about this eyeshadow palette was because it's almost a perfect neutral eyeshadow palette as you can see here they give you a really great assortment of neutrals there's also a really unique and fun transition color this yellow right here it would take your neutral eye looks to like the next level there's some really excited shimmers in here i do have to say i'll swatch those in a second and i do appreciate that they give you larger pan sizes for the transition colors that you're going to be using most often so this one right here is the color sharing is carrying and the one up here is called the snuggle is real and the snuggle is real it, it's totally going to be a transition color that's that you're going to hit pen on very soon which is why they give you larger pants so i want to swatch like this gold that's right here so i'm going to swatch what is this for real i'm going to swatch that yellow neutral color we were talking about they're so pigmented they are the bomb um we're going to swatch the gold that's right next to the yellow what else oh and i really want to swatch like the other shimmer it's called lace teddy it's like really interesting looking it's one of those shadows ha that have like kind of like they're spotty but when you swatch them they're like this very unique assortment of like colors in your shimmer it's amazing but this is what they look like and um, there's nothing in the back of my hands so if we swatch it <laughs> okay so the pigment is for real for real so my swatches like always are super me mediocre but i feel like they are really like you get immediate pigmentation and honestly this is like no surprise coming from a huge brand like Too Faced like their eyeshadows are the bomb the swatches especially like that matte yellow you can see it swatched really pigmented like all the way down shimmers are popping they are bright beautiful and it's just like a really great awesome assortment of neutrals let me tell you guys i think neutrals are making a comeback because a few years ago it was warm tones then it was like a huge craze over the pink tones and now i think neutrals are coming back and Too Faced is setting a standard here, I do have to say. They're coming for your weave. I will be swatching all of these eyeshadows at the very end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. Also, this is a limited edition collection. And yeah, I am excited to try this out for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into our makeup application. So I went ahead and primed using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And now the first color I'm going to apply to my crease is going to be Sharing is Caring. I'm going to be using a Luxie 231 brush. I'm going to pick up a significant amount here. Just fill her up real good. Start packing and blending at the same time. So I'm using a very light touch and I am pulsating my brush as I am blending. That way I'm not like literally packing on a whole ton of product that I will not be able to blend out later. Instead, we're just gonna work in small circular motions. Right here, I'm going into the V of my eye, just bringing that crease color 
And this is a really great way to kind of like map out where the rest of the colors are going to be. So right here, I'm shaping where my crease is going to be. Again, I'm going to go into another layer using a very light touch. I'm blending in small circular motions. And I do like to prefer to start on the outer half of my eye and work the product inwards because by the time you get to this part, your brush does not have as much product as when you first apply it over here. That way you have like a nice ombre effect. And that way you also don't bring too, too much product into to like this area right here which i have made that mistake in the past before when i get to this part i like to like slant my brush a little bit more forward as opposed to like upwards so that i can follow the natural eye socket in my eye okay so i feel pretty good about that next up i'm going to be picking up that bright pink color that's in this palette and i'm going to be using a fluffy morphe blending brush and i'm going to be using this bright colored shade as kind of like an accent it's going to peek out of my crease color right here so see how it just kind of brightens everything up that's what i want very light touch see look at what a difference that made i am really loving this accent color and as you can see here i'm going to use my whole eyelid space for this look so next up using that same slim luxie brush 231 i'm going to be picking up this dark brown color it's called fussy wussy it's like the second most darkest shade in this palette. I'm just gonna use this color to deepen, you see that? To deepen the outer half of my eye, kind of create like that smoky shadow effect. But I don't wanna bring it too high so it doesn't cover up that bright color we just applied. So instead, we're gonna go inwards. We're gonna keep it really low on the socket, right inside the socket of the eye. I think I want to go in with the second layer. All right, so to make the look really nice and smoky, I'm going to be picking up the darkest shade in this palette, which is this nice purple mauve brown. It's called Boop. I'm going to be picking up a uh, very slim, dense blending brush, and that's going to go super low on right on the V of my eye. So that's where my placement is going to start, and I'm just going to start blending. So I'm going to slant my brush so that I can direct boop really low on, almost onto my eyelid, inside my socket, onto my eyelid, just like that. I'm gonna go back to my Luxie brush. I'm gonna pick up more of the shade stuff. And I'm gonna try to blend out. Diffuse the dark shades with this pink color. Maybe I want to bring in a little bit more pink here so that it doesn't get lost. And I'm gonna diffuse this even more using my fluffy brush, and I did not pick anything up. So I just like to use my beauty blender to as almost like an eraser. You see that? And that helped quite a bit. All right, so this is my favorite part of every single eye look, and that is the sparkle. I'm gonna be using my finger to pick up this beautiful shade right here, and it's called Lace Teddy. I mean, here, I have to swatch it for you guys. Stunning, beautiful, magnificent, yes. I'm gonna put Lace Teddy right there in the center of my eyelid. I will not bring it all the way into the inner corner of my eyelid. I'm just gonna, oh, yes. Gonna leave it right there sitting on the middle. So I'm gonna use my slim Lexi brush to kinda diffuse that very harsh line that we have going on right there. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then I'm gonna go back to my slim, dense blending brush. I'm gonna pick up more of the dark shade, which is Boot. And I'm gonna blend this line right here. Actually, maybe I should bring Lace Teddy a little bit more outwards, just blend it more into boop, and then I'm gonna pick up more boop, pick up more boop, and we're just gonna bring that intensity back. I'm gonna pick up a different dense blending brush. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the brown that's under the yellow, bringing it downwards. I'm just gonna blend a little bit more. I'm gonna use my Luxie brush, diffuse the edges right here. Maybe I'm gonna pick up more of that shade stuff, that mauve pink, and blend the very edges of this. Bring back the mauve -ness. See that? More of that bright pink color using a fluffy blending brush. And we're barely gonna touch the edge of our eye look. 
Okay, so now we are ready for the good stuff. I'm gonna be picking up the brightest color in this palette and it's gonna be this guy. It's called Press Paws. I mean, look, just look at this. Stunning, honey. She came a potty. Okay, and that's gonna go in the inner corner. We're gonna pack her down. Oh my God, that's beautiful. More, give me more, so pretty. Yes. Okay, I got a little <laughs> too excited. So let me bring back more of Lace Teddy, which is the pink. I'll bring it back to the center. Blend it into press paws. Make sure I have a good distribution of each color. So now with this smudging brush, I'm gonna work on the bottom of my eye look. I'm gonna be picking up stuff and we're just gonna pack it on. So now with the very tiny, tiny little teeny Morphe blending brush, I'm gonna be picking Picking up our bright color right here, the shade Embarrassed. And we're just gonna blend the very edge of our mauve pink. I'm gonna be picking up um, some of the brown. It's gonna go right here. I'm not gonna bring it in too much. Okay, and lastly, to make the bottom a little bit more smoky to match the top, I'm gonna be using the shade Bop. And it's really, I just want it to be like an accent. You know, have it sit right on top of the brown. So I'm gonna be doing this off camera. I'm going to be applying my eyeliner and today I'm not gonna do a liquid eyeliner. I'm going to be doing a pencil liner. More specifically, a NYX Eye Pencil Eyeliner in the shade Dark Brown. Guys, I almost forgot to apply Press Paws on my inner corner. I'm gonna be using a tiny, tiny, very pointy brush. This is what she looks like, nice and pointy. Place her just right here. Yes. Next up, I'm going to curl my lashes off camera and then I'm going to be applying my Pat McGrath Fetish Eye Mascara. And for lashes, I'm going to be using the Ardell Demi Wispies. To start my base, I'm going to be priming using the Milk Cosmetics Hydro Grip Primer. As you can see, I've almost completely finished it and I love it. If I need my foundation to stay, I'm gonna use this primer. It's like nice and sticky and it's perfect to really hold on to that foundation. I'm gonna be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the same shade that I use to prime my eyelids and I'm going to be using this concealer to get a little bit more coverage on certain blemishes on my face. Like this is my mask area. I get a lot of breakouts in this area. Like over here, it's some hormonal breakouts, maybe around the nose. I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the Dior Forever Skin Glow. I am the shade 2W. I love the smell of Dior foundations. They are phenomenal. They almost smell like rose water. Look at that glow. Mm. So I went ahead and dabbed a second layer because I want more coverage and I'm just gonna really pack that coverage in using my beauty blender this is a really awesome hydrating glowy foundation but i do need to build up the coverage because it's more like medium coverage this foundation is amazing but it's it's really made for people that have like that already have amazing skin to begin with you know what i mean which is why i um made sure to use my nars radiant creamy concealer on areas that i knew i was going to need more coverage for concealer, I'm going to be using my Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer. I am the shade 4. I'm going to use a synthetic brush to blend my concealer into my eyeshadow on the bottom. That way the shadow is still like a little bit diffused on the bottom and so the concealer doesn't just like cut it off and I did all of that blending for nothing, you know? To set my concealer, I'm going to be using my Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just going to use like a tiny, tiny brush because I'm really just going to apply this right on the crease area. I don't want to apply too much of this powder you really don't need a lot and i'm not going to do um the baking technique right now 
To contour my face, I'm going to be using a Sephora Collection Contour Blush. This is the shade First Touch N36, and I'm going to be using a Morphe Slanted Blush Brush. And for blush, I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush. This is the shade Call My Blush. And for highlight, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in the shade Highlight 01. And I'm just quickly going to go back to my blush brush because I want to bring back some of that pink. I don't want my highlight to like look like a stripe, you know? Just bring back some of that pink. Okay, and I do want to set my makeup before I go ahead and do my lips. So for setting spray, I'm going to be using the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. For lipstick, I'm going to be applying the Too Faced Melt and Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cello. And that does it! This is my final result using the new Too Faced Teddy Bear Bear It All eyeshadow palette and I am so happy with the final result. I felt like the matte eyeshadows were really really easy to work with and blend like especially the dark ones the really really dark matte shadows like boop and the brown like they were super pigmented they were consistent purple is a really hard color to get right especially if it's like a dark matte purple sometimes they don't come out like pigmented or sometimes they come out patchy but the purple boop that's in this palette is phenomenal. It worked its magic. I felt like it was so easy to work with, which I really appreciate. And I also really loved the really fun, bright shadows. Like what I applied in my inner corner here. I just feel like this was a really, really great eyeshadow palette. The blend was easy. The pigment was there. The matte shadows were consistent. The shimmers were freaking phenomenal. If you were to ask me, do I recommend that you pick up this limited edition palette? I would say absolutely girlfriend i love the overall result and i feel like it was very fun and exciting to work with these colors all in all it was an awesome eyeshadow palette and that does it for this video my friends thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video and found some value from it please don't forget to drop me a like comment share subscribe if you haven't i like to post new and exciting weekly makeup videos and like always i hope to see your beautiful face on my next video i'll see you on the next one bye guys